Hello, sixth grade, and welcome to lesson 3-4. In this lesson, we're going to focus on how to write algebraic expressions. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of our short lesson videos for here, and then we will jump into our notes and our guided practice as usual. How can you write an algebraic expression? Let's look at an example. Darius bought some comic books. How can you write an algebraic expression to represent the total cost of the comic books? What information is missing? The exact number of comic books Darius bought. Use a variable to write an algebraic expression. A variable is a letter or symbol that represents an unknown quantity. Let n equal the number of comic books. Each comic book costs $4. How does the table model the problem? The table shows the operation and factor used to find the total cost for any number of comic books. What does 4 times n represent? The cost of n comic books. An algebraic equation is a type of math expression that has at least one variable and at least one operation. The total cost of n comic books can be represented by the algebraic expression 4 times n. What numerical expression shows the cost of 3 comic books? Select your answer. So if we're looking at the cost of three comic books, we're going to do four times three because it's four dollars per comic book times three comic books. Four times three. Okay, so here it says drag the comic books to the mat to find each cost. Okay. So we bought one of them, it's four dollars. Two of them is going to give you eight dollars. And then three of them, is going to give you $12. So four times three is going to give you that $12. How is an algebraic expression like a numerical expression? Both have quantities connected by math operations. How is it different? Now the difference between an algebraic expression and a numerical expression is the variable. Numerical comes from the word number. So a numerical expression is made up of just numbers and some kind of operation. An algebraic expression in includes a variable, an unknown number, and some kind of uh, mathematical operation, adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing. Algebraic expressions use variables to represent unknown quantities. Numerical expressions do not have variables. All the information is known. You can also use a solid dot, parentheses, or no symbol at all to write the expression 4 times n. 4 times n, 4 times n, 4n or 4n are all ways to write the same expression. So I know this last bit was a little bit new for you guys, and this is something that you're going to see uh, come across your Mission. lessons. Uh, different ways to show multiplication. So over here, any of these, either with the multiplication sign, with a dot in the middle, uh, using parentheses, or just putting four next to that variable will tell you have four of that particular variable. So you're going to see that come up pretty often in math, uh, and all of these just mean multiplication. Okay, so uh, let's actually jump into our next example in video it says how can algebraic expressions represent a given situation an algebraic expression can use variables and operations to represent given situations place the correct operation for each situation so over here for a it says five minutes more than c so if it's more than we know we're going to be using addition here if i say 10 erasers decrease by a number n so here we're going to use subtraction because we're taking away. When we're decreasing, we're taking away. N nectarines shared equally by three people. So whenever we're sharing, we're talking about division. 
And if I say four times the quantity X plus eight. So here we have two things that we're doing. it. So if it says four times, times is multiplication. If we say X plus eight, we know we're also here we're going to be doing addition. All right, let's look at the last little video and then jump into our notes. Each part of an expression that is separated by a plus sign or a minus sign is called a term. How many terms does the expression 12r plus r divided by 2 minus 19 have? Describe the parts of the expression. Okay, so here we learn about what a term is. Now, a term has a very specific rule. The terms have to be separated by either addition or by subtraction. So we have to look at how many operations we have here that are separated or numbers or variables that we have that are separated by either a plus or a minus. So 12R, we know that's 12 times R, that's one term. R over two or R divided by two, that's the second term. And 19 is our third term. The expression has three terms. The terms are 12R, R divided by 2, and 19. Notice that the terms do not include the plus sign or the minus sign. The first term, 12R, is a product of two factors. A coefficient is the number that is multiplied by a variable. 12 is the coefficient of R. Now here, when we're talking about the word coefficient, a coefficient is the number that you multiply by a variable. So in 12R, 12 is the coefficient. If it was 5R, 5 would be the coefficient. If it was 27R, 27 would be the coefficient. It's whatever number you're multiplying by your variable. The second term is written as a fraction. It represents the quotient of R divided by 2. Remember that a fraction bar also means divide. The term 19 is a constant numerical value. The three terms of this expression include a product, a quotient, and a constant value. Okay, now here when they're talking about a constant value uh, or a numerical value, that's when you have a number by itself. There's no unknown part to it. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at our notes. So 3-4, write algebraic expressions. So remember, algebraic expressions, are number sentences that have a variable and some kind of operation. Now, a variable we said is any letter or symbol that represents an unknown quantity. It represents an unknown number that we need to figure out. Now, each part of an expression, we said that's separated by a plus or minus sign, is called a term. So this is the example that we used in the video. 12R plus R over two minus 19 has three terms in it. 12R is one of our terms, R over two is one of our terms, and 19 is one of our terms. We don't include the symbols, the, or the, you know, the addition and subtraction signs in there. Now, like we said, 12, in, in 12 R, the 12 is the coefficient. It's the number that we multiply by our unknown variable to be able to find, uh, to help us find our answer. Now, in our next example, it asks, how many terms does this expression have? We have r divided by 9 plus 5.5. Now, technically, this only has two terms in it because the r divided by 9 can be rewritten in fraction form as r over 9. And then we're adding the 5.5. In order for it to be considered a term, it has to be separated by either a plus sign or a minus sign only. Now, in our next example, it says, write an algebraic expression for each of the following. So if I tell you the sum of eight 
and a number a, what you would be writing is 8 plus a, right? The sum means addition. We're adding 8 plus a number that we don't know. The variable we're going to use is the letter a. Our next example says 5 less than a number b. So we're taking 5 away from b. So b take away 5 or b minus 5. Next example says the product of 8 and a number c. You can write 8 times c or you could write 8c. So that multiplication. And our last example for this one says the quotient of a number d divided by 2. So quotient is division, so d divided by 2. You could write d divided by 2 with a division sign, or you could write d over 2 as a fraction. Now, uh, our next example says the round trip from Sacramento to San Diego is 1,012 miles. A round trip from Sacramento to San Jose is 236 miles. Write an algebraic expression to show how much longer the trip to San Diego is. How many terms does this expression have? Okay, so what I know is the distance from San Francisco, or sorry, from Sacramento to San Diego is 1,012 miles. The distance from Sacramento to San Jose, we said is 236 miles, and I have to show an expression to show the difference. So there's going to be a subtraction sentence here. So I can write the subtraction sentence, 1,012 minus 36. That's my numerical expression. Um, I put equals D because D is, I don't know what the distance is, so I use D for the distance. So this expression has two terms in it, the 1,012 and the 236. The difference in distance is 776 miles. All right. The next example says write an algebraic expression for the following. So this is actually one of the ones that we looked at in our examples as well. Five minutes more than time t. So five minutes more, that means we're adding. So t plus five, it's an addition sentence. 10 erasers decrease by a number n. So we have 10 erasers and we're taking away n erasers. I don't know how many. So I use n as my variable. N nectarines shared equally by three people. That's N divided by three, or N over three. And then four times the quantity X plus eight. So four times in parentheses, X plus eight. For your guided practice, number one says, how can you write an algebraic expression with at least one operation and at least one variable? So you're going to write an expression. Uh, when you have an algebraic expression, you have to have one operation. So you're adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing. Those are the operations. And one variable is one unknown something that you're using to represent an unknown quantity or an unknown number. For number two, it says identify the variable and the operation in the algebraic expression 6 over x. So our variable is going to be x. That's our unknown. And the operation that we're doing is division. So 6 over x is the same thing as saying divided by x. For number three, explain why 15 plus 1 half n is an algebraic expression. Well, the reason this is an algebraic expression is it, it contains an operation, which is addition and division, uh, and it contains a variable. So the, the division 1 divided by 2, it also contains multiplication because we're doing that 1 over 2 times n. So because it contains uh, mathematical operations and a variable that makes it an algebraic expression. Number four, could you describe the expression two times the sum of three plus four as the product of two factors? Well, yes, you can, because you can add the three plus four to make seven. So the expression would be then written as two times seven. So that would be the product of those two factors. For number five, which part of the expression two times the sum of three plus four is the sum of two terms. Uh, the sum of two terms is going to be what we find in the parentheses. The three plus the four are the terms that we're going to add together and they equal seven. So for number six, we're writing the algebraic expression for six and seven. It says five less than y. So here we're going to take y and we're gonna take five away from it. So y take away five. For number seven, six times the quantity 2x plus 3y. 
So we're going to do six times. And if it's telling us the quantity 2x plus 3y, we know we're going to throw those into parentheses. So 2 times x plus 3 times y, or 2x plus 3y. In numbers 8 to 10, we're going to use this expression, w over 4 plus 12.5 minus 7z. How many terms does this expression have? So here we can see we have three terms, the w over 4, the 12.5, and the 7z. Those are the three terms that are separated by either addition or subtraction. Which term has a coefficient? So the 7z is the term that has a coefficient. The 7 here is the coefficient because we're multiplying it by the variable z. And for number 10, which term is a constant numerical value or just a number? So in this equation, in this algebraic equ equation that we have here, your constant numerical value or your number that has no variables attached to it is just your 12.5. It's the only one that doesn't have an unknown part. That takes us to the end of this lesson. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, have an amazing day. Take care. Bye. -bye.